Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video in Minecraft plugin tutorial series. Today we are going to be dealing with native localization as it's been requested by one of our viewers. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I'm going to be teaching you how to get the player's language if I type local get it is going to return that i'm using shakespearean english which is pretty cool in minecraft likewise we can actually translate strings on our client as well and even get different keys that we use for movement such as the s key going backward we are going to be using the adventure library if you want to code for minecraft 1.8 uh, i do recommend you check the video about apis because you will have to shade the adventure library inside your plugin when you use it however if you only want to code for i believe 1.8 18 or 1.19 and higher you don't have to add any other library to your plugin because adventure is already installed on that version of paper likewise if you want to code for spigot or even craft bucket even though i do not recommend it but if you just want to code for spigot then also check the api video and you have to shade the paper library there okay guys powerpoint time don't worry it's just one slide on this slide i pretty much put all the information for this video number one how to get users language there is a method called player that get locale or if you are on a new version of paper you can just call locale this will return localization please note that this cannot be changed on the server so if i show you my code you're gonna see this right here and i'm not gonna teach you how to code in this video because this is just dealing with like one line of code this entire thing is written in java if you don't know what java is please check out the training called Project Orion. Not only you're going to be learning how to code in Java, but also how to make amazing, beautiful Minecraft plugins and mini games and a whole bunch of cool stuff. The link for that is in the description. Likewise, if you don't know what the command executor is and how to write a Minecraft command, we have a free video on this very tutorial series that will deal with most of what is inside, what is inside this. So I don't have to show you the ins and outs because I already covered this. I'm just going to be focusing on the new stuff today. So if I type in get argument inside our local command, by the way, guys, always make sure if you're creating a new command to put it in your plugin.yml file. Again, I teach you guys in this in the other video in this very channel and also register this in your main plugins class as i did right here so going back inside my local command if i type get it's going to say your localization is player.get get locale now also as i said you can call just locale which is going to return java object which is a little bit more fancy because you can get different uh different strings in there such as the display country even and you can't really easily get that from just getting the locale using the old traditional way and the cool thing about this if you change the language this will be changed immediately on the screen the reason for the immediate change including all the other keys is that when you as the plugin developer on the s which stands for server obviously are coding a plugin and you send a component that is translatable the actual Think what is going to happen inside the message packet and i have a video about packets as well make sure to check it out if you want to will contain a variable right so really what we're dealing with is just variable and then on your screen inside your client it is going to be translated to whatever you have that is why if you change something on your client the server does not change anything it still uses the same variable however it is being replaced on your screen for your own client to whatever you have that is why you see this shift immediately now we're going to be using adventure to retrieve the localization keys and i'm going to show you two methods how to do this number one component that translates Translatable and number two component dot keybind. So if you call translatable, it'll simply return the full message behind these strings. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to find these strings in just a second. If you call keybind or keybind, my English just doesn't function properly sometimes it'll actually only return the key such as the s right here which you which you can see on my screen right here at the bottom and this is how it works so player send message component right here and you can even use the same key right here because the translatable is going to return uh it's going to actually return let me just show this to you the walk backwards right here the actual label however the s right here will be returned if you call the key bind right here now great question how do we get to know what these keys are so how do we actually find these keys well you can find these keys if you go to mcasset.cloud 
which is a website like this one. Here you can simply select the micro version. I think it goes down to even 1.3. And then inside right here, let me just go with 1.20. You need to browse the files, open up assets, open up Minecraft, open up Lang right here. And here you can see the files for all the different languages. I'm just going to search for en underscore us. And I'm going to simply open up the JSON file. And then you can scroll down to the very bottom and simply hit download file. And you can simply right click save it. It's pretty easy to use once this is on your computer, because you know, maybe you have a text editor that has more capacity. So here, what I can do is I can just look for the key that jump to show you what this is, what this actually is. So the key that jump is then translated into jump right here. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you call key that jump, it will actually return jump the label. However, if you call key bind right here, this will simply say to the client to actually display the actual letter. Now, next thing, sometimes you'll notice that these variables, they have variable inside of them, which is, for example, percentage and an S to replace these variables. Let's say that I want to have land server report invalid new. If I want to do that, I go to IntelliJ and I go to component translatable. I place this right here. And then after, let me show you this to this way. After you type in dot arcs, and inside you can simply replace all of these components. So the first one is going to be, I don't know, the first one is going to be banana. Now, please make sure to put actual component right here. You can simply replace them this way. You have to be putting components there. And the other one is going to be, I don't know, cherry, right? And this will simply return banana and cherry because this is just the text component, nothing special. I do have a video about components. It's called adventure. So if you want to learn more, what you can put right here and all the different options, including text colors, I'm not going to cover this one. Check out that video in this free Minecraft tutorial YouTube series, right? And then it's going to return, uh, leave the edit box empty or enter a number between banana and cherry, which doesn't make sense, but it's just for a quick demo. So that's one thing. And then finally, the question is, what if you want to create a custom localization? As I explained, the keys are replaced on the client. So you are not going to be having good luck creating a custom localization on the server, for example, using one that does not exist. But what I do recommend you guys do is you're going to get the player locale right here. And then using another video, which deals with config, we have a video on how to load settings. You can actually create your custom new language file right here. Let's say language dot underscore en us or just en underscore us. And you can go with the YAML format or you can use JSON. I haven't covered JSON yet. And I can cover this in one of our one of my future videos here. Here you can place your simple key, for example, test test value. And then you can simply say, well, if the locale equals to under en underscore us, let me just verify it. Yes, en underscore us, right? Then you can simply send the player the message by getting the actual key. I'm not going to cover how to get the actual key. That is for the JSON video. But if you want to use the simpler structure called YML, which is the same as the settings right here, we have a video on how to get keys from that. It's very, very simple. So I think that that is it for today. There's nothing much to do with native localization. I'm going to be posting the full source code, including this PDF for download below this video in the blog post link. Make sure to check that out. I hope this video was helpful. I wish you a lovely day. Please hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps me and motivates me to create more videos like this one. And check out the training if you want to learn how to create amazing Minecraft plugins with no prior experience and make beautiful servers the way you always want it to be. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.